Right, how many times have we driven down the motorway and never Yeah. So it's an actual footbridge, isn't it, to go over the M3? And that's proper chili cheese chips, isn't it? Can you see the caramel there? Look how gooey that looks. Oh, I don't think I want to do this, actually. Are you ready? Do you want to see something really, really gross? Good morning and welcome back to a new weekend vlog. It is the 1st of August. Happy August to you. I, this year is such a strange year and my friend Kelly summed it up really well the other day. The fact that it was kind of like on pause and now it's like on fast forward. Does it feel like that to you? It's just a bit bizarre. Anyway, I'm Lisa if you are new to my channel and welcome. It's a weekend vlog. We're heading out now and I'm hoping this will be the longest walk we've ever done. I'm trying out trainers that I've only ever worn in the house, so I'm hoping they're going to be comfortable. They're pink and they look really cute and they match my t-shirt, um, so I'm hoping they're going to be okay. And we've got a pub booked in the next town at one o'clock. Um, we're trying a new app, the Kamut app. I will um, write it down below so you can have a look. And it looks like it's really good for off-road, which is what we're wanting to do. We're wanting to get to the next town via countryside. Um, we do have the obstacle of the M3, but it looks like there's a bridge over, so we should be okay. But we're really excited. It's nice weather, very warm, so I've got leggings and t-shirt on. A bit warm for jeans today. And tomorrow we're doing something really exciting. We are going on a boat with friends. They own a boat. I think it's Southampton way so we're going to do that which will be really cool and I'm in charge of dessert so I'm thinking I might do a biscoff cake or dessert or something I'm gonna have a look I don't know if I just fancy a normal cake I fancy something I don't know just a bit different so I'm gonna have a look on Pinterest see what I can find but we're going to be baking that together as well so I look forward to that and I hope you enjoy this weekend's vlog I need to go and get my rucksack ready for the walk how long have we been walking for now? Um, actually, we've actually just done 2.8 miles. 2.8 miles? We've got less than a mile to go. Less than a mile, okay. Yep. And we've been walking actually in motion for 56 minutes. 56 minutes, that's not bad going actually. But bearing in mind, we, I guess we've left. That's a funny noise, did you hear that bird? Yeah. Yeah, we can hear the M3. So we've got to cross the M3 somehow, haven't we? 3.11 miles. What, in total? Is that the walk? Um, Right, how many times have we driven down the motorway and never Yeah, the so it's an actual footbridge, isn't it, to go over the M3? Yeah. This is so cool. That's going to be weird walking over. It feels quite stable, though. It's not like it's a swinging bridge. I did wonder how we'd get over the M3. Yeah. I thought we'd go under. Under, for some reason. There's another footbridge. Look the, yeah, look at all the traffic yeah. slowing down because there's that car on the... Oh yeah. There. Look at the oh, yeah. It's starting to rain. It's not quite past the rain. So fleet services then must be this way. Yeah, there's the sign. Yeah, oh okay. That's really cool. Yeah, had we not have had the app, we wouldn't have thought to come through here, would we? We would have stuck to the main path. So we've come out in the business park. This doesn't look so so woodlandy, does it? So now we should be like our business park, is it? In the, <laughs> now we should then be by the housing estate, shouldn't we? Um, kind of, yeah. Yeah. Right. This oh. is the menu. Aid seen on the special boards, and he wants ribs. They have got a good choice, actually. Oh, they do a breakfast as well. Ooh. You like a breakfast, Aid? Have you seen this side? Oh. Omelette with chink oh. chunky chips. Oh no, you're actually got our wine. I never know you eating ribs. And then we've got all this as well. This is impressive. I was originally going to go for a cheese and onion toasty. I do love a toasty. Let's start at the top here. But I'm not sure. Oh, they do a roast on a Sunday. They do love a lamb shank. Aid really did go for the ribs. Aid, you've got such a long walk home. Those chips look good. That's a, a, a lot of, of gravy. It's a little bit of meat. It's a little bit. Louis's going to have food envy. Emma made we've got chipetta with bacon, bacon, stilton, and mushrooms. And we've got chippies. They look good fries. And that's proper chili cheese chips, isn't it? And you went from. Did you go for fish fingers fish again? Fingers, yeah. You like a fish finger, do don't like you? Fish they look really good.
it's half past seven the walk was really really good this morning it's been our favorite walk so far it was just woodland all the way i think we did eight miles today and i've come home had a shower and had a snooze and it's felt like such a nice afternoon i'm now going to bake um biscoff blondies i've been dying to use this stuff i've had it in my cupboard for ages so i'm really excited it's like brownies but i'm not a big fan of chocolate so it's like the vanilla -y version so i'm excited to try that um, i'm using jane's patisserie as a base for a recipe um, if you don't follow her on instagram she's really really good i will link this recipe up below but as usual i'm kind of doing my own thing i also want to add some caramel to the mix as well so it's going to be like a biscoff and caramel blondie so hopefully that will be nice i've got all the ingredients laid out in front of me but like i said i'm going to link it up below so if you want to give it a go that should pretty much be everything that we need it should be a nice and easy recipe got brown sugar there as well and we've got the biscuits and so that's vanilla extract so i'm pouring the sugar i've got both sugars in there and i've melted my marge as well and that's going in there and i'm going to pop that into my kitchen aid mixer and mix that all up so sugar's mixed in with the marge i've added the vanilla i'm now going to add the flour it's plain flour not self-raising and i'm also adding in three eggs as well and that can all just mix up together and that's what it looks like it's that lovely caramelly color that looks so good right the recipe says white chocolate chips i've got a chocolate bar i've decided not to add that i'm going to leave that out um so i am going to put the mixture into my tin and then i am going to use the biscoff spread the biscuits and the caramel did you want to try the mixture oh that sounds nice is that going back in no, it's like caramel. Mmm, that's really nice. Is it? Mmm. Mmm, that's quite nice. Mm. It is more like a cake mixture, mm. isn't it? It's more like a little bit sweet, but it's not kind of sickly. I expect it to taste like caramel. Mmm, you like that? That's nice, yeah. All right, this is one of those times when you're kind of like spreading the mixture to the edge, just thinking it doesn't seem quite enough. Um, I've got a nine inch brownie tray, which is what's recommended. But um, I feel like it should have had more mixture. I don't know. It doesn't have self-raising flour. No baking powder, so it's not going to rise. So I'm intrigued to see what happens with this. Action. Now for the exciting part. This is the bit I've been really looking forward to. I need to, 100, no, 250 grams. This is 400 grams of the Biscoff spread. And we're literally going to mix it through. So I'm going to take it out with my spatula thing. I can't see how this gets mixed through because it's quite thick. Don't warm it up, do you? No. What, what happens to it? Does it just, just go on to, it? Like, yeah, blob it through. Oh. It's almost got like a, seems like a smooth peanut butter consistency. Yeah. Maybe I should have done smaller amounts. I don't know. Like that. And then I'm just going to mix it all through. Is that you swirling? Yeah. I see. Is the, is the mixture warm as well in there or not? Is it it's no, cold? No, it's cold. When you get right in the corners. Yeah. I wonder if smaller blobs. Yeah, it's mixing in a bit, but there's yeah. going to be, yeah. Right there, you can see that's bigger. It looks like a big lump at the top. Yeah. And now I'm going to do exactly the same, the caramel. Do you get this in the States? Carnation. It's really good. It's what we use for like when we're doing um, banoffee pies and things like that. I'm not going to use huge amounts, but I would like to um, kind of like fold it into the mixture. So I've done a few blobs again and I'm going to do exactly the same and kind of like move it around and fold it in. So you want it to be everywhere. And I can see now the mixture is actually more than what it was before have a bit more mixture to play with the recipe says to crumble them all up to put them on top I've laid them out like that there were some broken ones in a few packets so I've done those in the center and now that's going in the oven on 180 for 25 to 30 minutes we have to give it a little check 
20 past eight. I'm excited for that Biscoff pudding to, or dessert, whatever it is, I don't know, cake, to come out the oven. And in the meantime, I'm going to edit the vlog that needs to go up tomorrow because we're going out tomorrow to the boat with friends and I'm not gonna have a lot of time to edit and get it all done. So I'm gonna make a head start. It sounds like they're done. Let's go and check. It does smell really good. These little bits have gone a little bit over. It's been 25 minutes. It says 20, I might, it's quite soft there. I think I might put it in for five more minutes. It does smell really good, doesn't it? These are a definite winner. We've tried one. They're really good. I'm gonna cut them down the middle and then cut them into individual slices, like the size of the biscuit. Having the toffee, the caramel in there makes them so gooey. I'm so glad I added that. Really, really pleased with these. Can you see the caramel there? Look how gooey that looks. Morning, welcome to Sunday. It's early. We're watching Yaz and Ash in Disneyland Paris. We have coffee and I'm working as well. I think we walked over that bridge. No, actually, was it the next uh, one? Because there was signs. That is a footbridge. Because, but we could see signs. Whereas. No, I think it was that one. You think it was that because one? Because I remember I could see signs at the exit. Oh, okay. We're trying to work out the bridge that we walked over yesterday. But then we could see two bridges together, which would make yeah. sense would be this one. Uh, is this one? Is it this one? So it's an sign, yeah. Yes, you're right. So this is the bridge that we walked over yesterday. That's quite cool, isn't it? You'd never look at that and think that's a footbridge, would you? And that you've well, just got woodland. Just one thing. It's yeah, just a I guess so. Good morning. It is Sunday, and we're on our little outing down to Southampton to our friend's boat. Very excited. Um, we haven't been. They've got a new boat. We haven't been on it before. Um, Bigger boat. We're looking forward to it. We're looking forward Anyone to spending. Anyone who knows Jaws, that's kind of a reference there. Is it? Yeah. Um, looking forward to spending the day with them as well. It'll be really nice, lovely weather. We've got summer clothes on. We've got some nice goodies packed as well. We have baked, uh, yeah. packed up the Biscoff cakes. I can't remember if I said last night they are really good. We tested it with a cup of tea last night, just a little oh, bit. Just Sorry, it's really gooey. I'm so glad I added that caramel. It's really, really made it gooey. So we're looking forward to today. I meant to say yesterday, and I'm forever saying about things and then I forget to talk to you about them. The Kamut app yesterday was really, really good. We've been looking for a really good app to take us like off country because Google Maps just does the roads. And we used this one yesterday and it was really, really good. And it we gave us a route, didn't it, that we would have never have known existed had we not had this app. Yeah, just all the country paths through like the woodlands and that, and then it took us over that walkway bridge, which we didn't know existed either. So if you're doing a lot of walking, I'd really recommend that app. It's called Kamut. Um, K, I'll do the little wording thing for you. Rain was not part of the plan today, was it? No. I didn't want to be on a rainy boat. I wanted to be on a sunshiny boat. I haven't got a coat either. I've got sunglasses. <laughs> open toed sandals. Be right. Yeah. We're nearly there. And the rain stopped as well. So a bit gutted. I bought some gifts instead of flowers and I know they love their cheese. So I thought this was really nice to keep on the boat. But Amazon literally delivered it like this with the address on the front. So I've tried to take it off but it's really really sticky. So I think that's pretty bad from Amazon. I was a bit disappointed with that. Makes a nice gift though, doesn't it? A bit of a replacement from flowers. Oh. They smell really so they're nice. They're already a good mile away probably from where they're hot and they were carrying on. Um, and there's butter though. And sausages. Are you cutting your sausage in half? Oh, I don't think I want to do this actually. Mm -hmm. oh, don't you take a picture yeah, of me? Yeah. Please, have a picture. Oh, I my knees. I feel like I'm being really daring. You are, go, go, go! So do you have to do this every day? Yeah. Oh, it's quite big, isn't it? Feels like being in Jaws. Hey, do you alright? Oh! Oh, that is quite cool, actually. Hello, Aid. Hello. So when 
only if you'd like sunbathe here. your um, Titanic moment? Yeah, arm five. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the intention, son? Yeah. Do you want him to fall out? Um, I'm going to, yeah, I think I might be alright, thanks. I might go down. Yeah, I'll go down on my bum, I think. Having a nice time? Yeah. You? Yes, thank so you. So I found foot in front of each other. You alright? Yeah, fine, thank you. I've got knickers on, so I should be alright. Oh. It is getting quite dark, isn't it? That's their boat there, on the right. We've got a little bit of traffic on the way home. We are home. We notice we have a lot of tomatoes on our tomato plants out the front. Oh, I've just leaked. Just cleaned them. And we're gonna have a chicken salad for dinner. We've had such a nice afternoon at Sonia and Russ's boat really really relaxing chicken had gone off so i've had to improvise and i've made a tuna and egg salad we've got homegrown lettuce from mum's garden homegrown cucumber from mum's garden and tomatoes from our garden and we've got corn on the cob as well morning it's monday we had such a lovely weekend it was such a nice mixture of being outside being with friends and I managed to get quite a lot of work done as well so I'm really pleased that pub lunch was so good the other day we'll definitely be going back there the chili cheese fries were amazing they were so good proper chunky chips loads of cheese really good chili it was a really really lovely lunch and we much preferred that walk um, like I said we'd highly recommend using Kamut it's such a good app Aid was telling me in the car yesterday that for your local area it's free and then i think he said for your whole country i think it was something like a six pound or 6.99 one-off payment so it's not yearly it's just a one-off payment and then it was a little bit more if you wanted the whole world so we were thinking if we're going off in the states and we want to go hiking or something like that um it'd be really really handy because it doesn't show just show the main roads it's all the little like woodland paths and off track and all that kind of thing so it was really really good we'd have never found that walk and taking the bridge over the M3. So really, really recommend that. Um, I had a really bad night's sleep Saturday night. Um, I just couldn't sleep. I was wide awake, still at mid, um, half 12. And then I just kept waking up all the time and I was thinking that I needed to edit videos and it was all in my sleep. And it was just really disturbed. And in the end I got up at quarter to five, edited your vlog that went up yesterday. And, um, yeah, so I did actually manage to get quite a few, about six hours of working before we headed out. So that was quite handy. And I worked in the car there and back as well. So I still managed to get like a full day's working in some ways. And we had fun. So that was good. Loved the boat trip. That was really good. We didn't sail out. We just chilled for a couple of hours, sitting on the boat, chatting with friends. It was really nice and um, really, really relaxing. So we've had a lovely weekend. I'm just on coffee duty now. Aids in a meeting, so I want to get the coffee done. And then I'm going to quickly clean out the cutler cutlery drawer. I am still doing my declutter challenge. I know lots of you have said you're really enjoying the decluttering, but let me know, are you doing my declutter challenge as well? Are you decluttering at least one area, one drawer, one cupboard, anything a week? Let me know if you are. I've got coconut vacay going today. This one is from Asda Walmart that I bought last year, and it smells of holiday in my kitchen. So this is the cutlery drawer. I cleaned it out a few months ago, but it's starting to look rather grubby. We make the coffee here, so I think little coffee granules and that get in, but it does need, we've got lots of bottle tops. It needs a really good clean out. So I'm gonna quickly do it now whilst I make coffee. It's another one of those jobs that takes about 10 minutes to do, but you always put off. So I'm gonna look forward to doing this. Are you ready? Do you want to see something really, really gross? Brace yourself. This is my cutlery drawer. I've got my hair in there. You think this is where I keep my cutlery? It's really bad. I've got so much hair in here. 
that's shocking when you think you put clean cutlery in there you don't think of it getting dusty my hair it's just really gross that's made me feel really yucky definitely gonna empty this clean all the cutlery and put it all back in a nice clean drawer so my question to you when did you last clean out your cutlery drawer let me know how often you do yours right that looks much cleaner i like having drawer liners that i can just easily clean i bought these sets individual ones they are um from tk maxx last year and they've cleaned up really really nicely and that is my tidy cutlery drawer i've managed to get rid of quite a lot and we are getting rid of these bits and pieces here I'm so much happier that I've done that drawer and I can't believe it's another one that's taken me just a few minutes. So I've had two deliveries today. I've had a cute little Dumbo mask. I've got two cute Dumbo masks now. This one um, is quite handy because you can adjust the size. The problem I have is that I wear a lot of makeup and even just trying it on, I've got all my makeup on the front there. So I end up with orange masks. Maybe I need some orange Disney masks. And I've got a Bramble Fox delivery. I do love my Bramble Fox deliveries. So we're collaborating with Bramble Fox this month in the kits. And Morag has made us these super cute cameras this month to go in the kits. Now, oh yes, I have this one here in my kit. You take the top layer off. So when you get them, they look like that. And then you take the top layer off and you're left with a nice shiny acrylic there and you can add them to your projects your crafty projects i'm really impressed they look so cute i didn't know morag was doing those as well i'll leave up her link below anyway so you can go and take a look um she's always trying out new bits and pieces it's so cool she does stencils as well we had stencils from morag back in may so thank you very much morag i'm really impressed with those but that is a lovely order and I think I'm going to finish this video here. I hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know how are you doing? Are you doing well? Are things starting to get back to normal a little bit where you are? Are you crafting? Are you baking? Are you decluttering? Let me know what's happening with you. I always like catching up with you in the comments. It's like catching up with all my friends. It's really, really nice. So thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.